You're used to seeing big price tags on pretty much every area of government spending, but wait until you see this one, how much we pay for prayer in our government. Total annual bill comes to more than $800,000. That is the budget for just the House Chaplain's Office and the Senate Chaplain's Office. Wow. $800,000 a year for literally two men. Maybe they have assistance. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume that they have assistance just for them to pray. Hopefully we're getting our money's worth from God. I wasn't able to get any hard facts on that. I'm trying to understand this a little better. Can you give me more details on what they're getting paid for exactly? I can. I've All got right. that information. First, a breakdown of our money per hour and per uh, second. American taxpayers are being charged more than $66,000 an hour for prayers said in the U.S. House and Senate. The total cost per prayer which lasts an average of 90 seconds, is almost $1,700. I don't For every 90-second prayer. Why look, does it cost so much? I don't, why, why are we paying to pray? Because God wants big stacks of cash. So the government... Don't give him 20 bucks. He's not going to pay attention for that. The government is not supposed to endorse any religion, any particular religion, right? Uh, we're supposed to have a separation of church and state. First of all, the fact that taxpayer money is going to prayer is... Ridiculous, and the fact that we don't tax religious organizations like churches, for instance, mosques, whatever it is, any type of religious organization, yeah, is frustrating because I don't think that there's any real justifiable reason for why we do that. But again, w w isn't this supposed to be unconstitutional? You would think. I mean, the idea, I guess, is that they probably do also have prayers for non Christians, mm -hmm. which is great, I guess. I got news for you. I don't want to pay for that, those either. I don't want to pay. Like, if, if you get a ton of atheists in the Congress, I don't want to pay to have Bill Nye talk about chromosomes to them. I don't want any of that stuff. No. That's for different. That might that be, would be an good educational time. experience. I know, though. but I'm saying if yeah. he's doing it for a spiritual reason, yeah. I, I, I certainly don't want it. Um, and, and it is apparently legal. So what are they yeah. paying for? Well, they're paying for the the chaplains in the House and for the Senate to give those prayers, the prayers that they give at the beginning of their sessions. That is literally the only thing that this money is going towards that's based insane. on all the information that we have. And you might think, well, that's a lot of money for one person to do, but I guess it's a full-time job. They have to uh, pray to a lot of people. I would say maybe if you want to have the religious services, have the congressmen and the senators pay to bring in a priest. Yeah. I wouldn't even like that. But at least then I'm not paying for you to literally pray at a senator. That's a, That's a weird thing to do. And it turns out that it's actually worse than that. And I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, to give you an idea of the amount of work that's being done, in 2011, the House chaplain delivered just 104 prayers. Because remember, the House is not in session for most of the year. It's in session for less than 150 days. They lasted an average of 90 seconds each. Nobody, you got to go for 20, 30 minutes if you want to earn that paycheck. Wow. It's about 2.6 hours of work in 2011. He was paid $172,000 or $66,000 per hour. And I could come up, I guess, with a brain surgeon who deserves $66,000 an hour. He's praying, man. You couldn't get a cheaper priest. It goes to the same God, and it's either being received or it's not. That's crazy, I will but do, it's I will worse do than that. I will do those prayers for $500 an hour. I'll undercut you, $400 an hour. Fine, 150 I don't care, right? I, I, I'm not going below 150 That's too little. Okay, I okay. win. It's actually worse than that because that 104 prayers, that makes it seem like at least he's doing 104 prayers in the House and the Senate version does the same, but it's not. The official chaplains let guest chaplains deliver many of the prayers, oh. about 40% in the House. That's amazing. He's not even doing that many hours of work. He ships that off to other priests. He better be giving them a big portion of that money because they're the ones who end up doing a lot of that work. And so over 15 years, from 2000 to 2015, U.S. taxpayers literally spent over $15 million so that people can pray at congressmen and senators. That's insanity. How is that legal? They cut... Food stamps, they cut SNAP. They cut all of these programs because there's not money, but there is money to lift your hands up in the air and to pray and hope that God is listening.